student in this video I'm going to discuss about integration testing so in case of integration testing the entire system is viewed as a collection of subsystems or you can say sets of classes determined during the system and object design main goal of integration testing is that test all interfaces between subsystems and the interaction of the subsystems so in a system in a major system there might be lots of or a collection of subsystems and those subsystems will interact in between them and there will be interfaces to connect within the systems or in the subsystems so main goal of integration testing is that how those interfaces or how those interactions interactions are going on among the subsystems so that is what integration testing integration testing is like a or determining uh, whether the subsystems subsystems are working as a whole in a good manner or bad manner that is the main part of this integration testing so integration testing really determines the order in which the subsystems are selected for testing and integration so our in integration testing strategy we need to uh, determine uh, in what order we will choose those subsystems which are going to be integrated and which are going to be tested so that order is important and that is the main strategy so that is the main strategy to choose or determine So why do you do integration testing? In case of unit testing, in the previous video we have discussed, we try to only test the unit in isolation. We try to do the testing in case of the coding, in case of the execution, which are inside of a subsystem or inside of a single unit. So many failure results from false in the interaction of subsystems there might be lots of failures might occur between the interactions of the subsystems so often many of the self components are used that cannot be unit tested so many time you are going to uh, outsource or you are going to use some other components which has not been built or developed by you uh, just like of the self components uh, which cannot be go for uh, unit testing then you need to go for integration testing directly without integration testing the system test will be very time consuming so if you don't do this integration testing at the last when you are, whenever you are going for the system testing it will be more time consuming and failures that are not discovered in the integration testing will be discovered after the system is deployed and can be very expensive so if you don't discover the failures if they are ease and during the integration testing then it will be very very costly and um, very very time consuming time time consuming effort when the when you discover that fault or discover that failure after deploying the system so that is why due to this type of reasons we go for integration testing basically uh, what is tabs and what is drivers driver is a component that calls the tested unit controls the test cases stop a component that tested unit depends on partial implementation can be done and returns fake values here you can see in this diagram driver is the in the topmost part top, topmost part that is called um, that calls the it calls it calls this tested units and it controls the test cases so driver is a component that calls the tested units this function this um, this entity stub is a component in which these tested units are depend on Partial implementations can be done and also stop can return some fake values So this is the basic 
uh, new terminology of this thing but I will try to know more better here this is a three layer design okay suppose this is a spreadsheet so in the A top spreadsheet view this is layer one but in a layer two there will be entity model there will be calculator there will be currency converter suppose these are the things we are working okay in the layer two in the layer three there might be also binary file storage in case of entity model or XML file storage or again uh, currency convert we, we need the currency database so that is a layer 3 of this spreadsheet so this is a 3 layer design for spreadsheet so we will try to start with a big bang approach of integration testing testing so we, we are going to test a first then we are going to test b then test c then test z like that e f z so test a b c d e f z directly big bang means as a whole simultaneously a b c d e f z in case of both that was big bang approach in case of bottom up testing strategy the subsystems in the lowest layer of the call hierarchy are tested individually then the next subsystems are tested that call the previous tested subsystems this is repeated until all subsystems are included, drivers are needed. So, in case of bottom of integration, we try to go from the bottom of the that is the uh, subsystem is the lower lay, low, lowest layer of the call hierarchy are tested individually. That is why E first, F then, Z then. Okay. So EF test BEF if in, after EF only you can go for B you can directly go for C because there is no other calls in that hierarchy from C or C does not depends upon any other subsystems but these depends upon Z that these are Z first then test DZ okay then after test C DZ and these branch all branches covered then you can go for A so pros and cons of bottom up integration testing is that test the most important subsystem or user interface last drivers needed we need the drivers pros no stubs needed useful for integration testing of following system of like object oriented system real time system and system with strict performance requirements Another one is that top down testing strategy. Test the top layer or the controlling subsystem first, then combine all the subsystem that are called by test subsystem and test the resulting collection of the subsystems. Do this until all subsystems are incorporated into the test. Stubs are needed to do the testing. So stops are needed to do the testing. In case of bottom up, we need the driver to do the testing. So test A first tested in the layer one. Then we go for B C D layer one plus two. Then we go for E F Z. So that is top down integration. Top down integration, or we can say, we can say top down strategy. We in this case we need the stop to detect the failures or errors. But in case of bottom up, we need the drivers. Pros of top down integration testing is that test cases can be defined in terms of functionality of the system. No drivers needed. But in case of cons, writing stub is difficult. Stubs must allow all possible conditions to be tested. Large number of stubs may be required, especially if the lowest level of system contains many methods. Some interfaces are not tested separately. Again, another technique for integration testing that is sandwich te testing strategy combines top down strategy with bottom up strategy. So here we try to combine both top, top down and bottom up strategy. The system is viewed as having three layers, target layer in the middle, layer above the target and layer below the target. Testing converges at the target layer. So we need to first choose the target layer first. Then 
upper side of the target, target layer is the uh, above layer or below layer is the another layer of the target layer. So here we will try test A, then test E, then test F, A first that is the top layer, E first because B, C, D is our target layer, E first, F first, then G, then test A, B, C, D, then for E, F test B, for G test D, then as a whole we can get the testing of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So for this EFZ we are going from the bottom, for, from A we are going from the top, At, as a whole we are reaching the target layer. Top and bottom layer test can be done in parallel, obviously. Problem is that does not test the individual subsystems and their interfaces thoroughly before integration. Solution is that modified sandwich testing strategy. So what is the modified sandwich testing strategy? We can go for test in parallel, middle layer with driver and stubs, top layer with stubs, bottom layer with drivers, obviously. And test in parallel like top layer accessing middle layer, top layer replaces drivers, bottom access by middle layer, bottom layer replaces stubs. So modified is that A first, C directly, then B, E, F, D, Z, AC directly combines, BEF can be combined, DG can be combined, as a whole can be combined. So that is what it is saying is that we can use the middle layer with drivers and stuff because top layer will be driver, bottom layer will be the stuffs. Top layer with stuffs, bottom layer with drivers. If there are more layer, then top layer with the stops, we can go with the testing, top layer with the stops, bottom layer with the drivers. Again, top layer can access the middle layer, where top layer replaces the drivers in case of the middle layer, bottom access by middle layer, where bottom can be replaced as a stop for the middle layer. So for the middle layer, we are doing the test in parallel, and for middle, top and bottom also we are doing that in parallel. That is what it is saying. So that is sandwich, it is modified sandwich. In case of previously simple sandwich testing, we try to go from the top and bottom layer and try to converse both direction in the middle layer or even target layer. But in case of modified, we try to go spatially for in case of top, bottom and uh, top, bottom and target layer or middle layer by using the driver and stuff for each of the layer with respect to them. So again another one is that continuous testing is that continuous build, build from day one, test from day one, means integrate from day one. So whenever you build the sub system, sub system directly test that sub system and directly integrate, integration testing done on that same simple sub system directly, then again system is always runnable, again go for the next sub system, if you go for next sub system, build that sub system, then again test and direct do that integration testing from day one and requires integrated tool support. For this we need the integrated tool support. Continuous build server, automated test with high coverage, tool supported refactoring, software configuration management and issues tracking. So continuous strategy is like, suppose you can directly test some part of that spreadsheet view, then again with that go for this. Then again we can go for this along with the some part of this, some part of this, some part of this. As you are building the same system day from the day one. So that is the way. So first seed view, then add the sales in the seed and also addition, this part, then file storage. So that is a third stage. But that is continuous. If you go for more about the spreadsheet, then you could go for more about these things. Steps in integration testings are like 
it's based on the integration strategy select a component to be tested you need to test all the classes in the component so we need to select those components which has been already tested through that unit testing procedure second is that put selected component together do any preliminary fix up necessary to make the integration test operational like the drivers and stuff because we to uh, do the integration testing with the drivers and stuff that is why you need to check for that during that preliminary testing test functional requirements defines test cases that exercises all uses case, use cases with the selected component then in the fourth test the subsystem decomposition define test cases that exercise all dependencies then test non functional requirements execute performance tests keep records of test cases and testing activities repeat steps 1 to 7 until the full system is tested so the, the primary goal is of integration testing is to identify failures with the current component configuration so that is what about integration testing various types of integration testing and how did how what are the strategy we can apply for integration testing okay so try to go through the context and also through the books and also if you find anything material in the internet also please go through them if you find any um, complexity or any confusion or any doubt please let me know we'll try to resolve that over google meet so next we'll go for system testing in the next video thank you